Look at that gorgeous sunset. Let me take my visor up. Hey, wait a minute. It's all an illusion, it's a lie! <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, this is Interstellar Marines. This is, um... Yeah, when it's dark in this game, it is really dark. Well, that's not... It looks super cool, but that's not gonna work for this video. Let's change. Change time of day again. This poor game. <laughs> Doc Holliday would say, Wretched bastard was just too high strung. But yeah, I mean, this one is... Very negative on Steam. I never understood that. It's a really cool game. But anyways, totally aside from the point, it, this is a cool game. I would like to make some videos on it. It's been out for quite a while. That's kind of... The uh, people are upset that it just kind of got abandoned. But there's still a decent amount of content here. So, anyways. You know, I'm still tweaking my profile, but... This is one where I found a really good use for corded activators. And I've done a couple videos on those. And I kind of keep coming back to them because I personally... <laughs> I personally, like, completely wrote them off when it first came out. It's like, oh, whatever. It's just basically, like, another mode shift. But you can do some really nice things with it. So, for this one, I have an outer edge on my left pad is sprint which feels great except you know when you're aiming down sights it interrupts that and you don't really want that to happen you want to be able to you know when you're aiming down sights at least me I want to be able to stay I'm like I'm still holding that trigger I want to be able to stay aiming down the sights. All I do is go in here. So I have my outer ring to a left stick click. The cord, just imagine this wasn't here, I just put in the left stick click also. Put in a corded press. When I'm holding that left trigger, you know what? Just get rid of this, make it empty. But it's important that you bind an empty binding into it, which is another great thing that we have that empty binding. Empty binding and corded activators I'm finding really, really useful. So now, let's uh, get back to daylight. So okay, we're like back to midday. So now, I go forward, I sprint. I aim down sight. I'm all the way up on that edge, nothing's happening. You know, you can see it's like, right, let me just get where I'm not gonna move. It's like, right. Once I get right past there is when I start to sprint. Hold the trigger. I am all the way up on the edge. Nothing's happening. All the way up on the edge, I let go. I guess that's, I guess, just, just kind of noticed that right now. If I'm in here, I'm on that edge, when I let go, it's not going to immediately sprint me. I would have to go back down a little bit and then back up. That could be... Wonder, I mean, I could make a separate action layer, but I don't really want to get involved in that. So that would be the only caveat, is that it's not going to fire... It's not going to fire that outer ring binding once, you know, because it, it's firing it. It's hitting the empty binding, unless it was a separate action layer. I let go. You know, I just have to go down a little bit. But if that was really bugging you, you could make an action layer. I'm totally fine with the way it is. It's more just, uh... Just so you don't accidentally, like, 
trying to shoot somebody and then, whoa, start lurching into my sprint. Kind of always beating that same drum of if there's something that you're thinking you want to do, you probably can figure out a way to do it. Like, as I just, uh, even as I'm showing this off, I just happen to notice, oh, it doesn't immediately go back into a sprint. Well, I could probably... What I would probably do is make aim down sight action layer, have the corded press, uh, well, there's several different ways you could do it. I could have the corded press go to an action layer, and then releasing the left trigger takes that off. So then I would probably be sprinting. I could also have holding the left trigger go to an action layer but <laughs> that's just that's just me kind of like spitballing basically saying if that was bothering you that you don't go back into sprint when you let go of the trigger you could easily come up with several solutions that would let you do it but that's kind of just the idea you know of what I'm all about on this channel is just you know, showing you some of the really cool things you can do that you might not have thought of. So now, uh, yeah, like that feels great. I don't have to worry about accidentally sprinting. And this is a game where sound is pretty important anyways. Like you can see the under my health. So sound is zero. One, two, three, five. So we get up to, when I'm sprinting, we're getting up to like 20%, 23. Yeah, so that's just to get away from something real quick. So yeah, using a corded activator to stop a sprint action from happening while aiming down the sights. Sure, I can't now. <laughs> that is a thing in this, though, that you can shoot. We have some lights. But yeah, you can shoot out the lights, which is is really. I don't. I don't understand why this game is so hated. I mean, they were trying to do what they could. They just kind of ran out of money and people had to get jobs. But yeah, this is just the, um, like, sandbox, so I'm just running around a map by myself. But it does have... Uh, yep, yeah, bum bum. We have some missions. You have three missions you can play through. Challenges. There's co-op. I mean, obviously, that's kind of the problem, is people just... There's nobody playing right now. But even just running around in the single-player stuff, for me, it... It really kind of, you know, checks off that... Halo vibe until we get Halo on PC. But alright, that's all I got. I will see you around.